Hello, it's me, Ix Adonis, your teacher in mathematics in the modern world. Today, we will talk about patterns and numbers in nature and the world. Many of us think that mathematics is merely numbers, operations, problem solving, and the likes. But in reality, math is as beautiful as an art. In fact, even the most famous astronomer Galileo Galilei once said, Mathematics is the language with which God has written the universe. If you want to understand the world using math, there are steps to follow. First, you need to find patterns. Next, you need to represent that patterns in the form of symbols, shapes, or numbers. And finally, interpret these patterns. There are so many patterns around us. In countries with four seasons, the sequence is always winter, spring, summer, and fall. Also, our body follows a natural internal process that regulates the sleep and wake cycle that repeats every 24 hours, which is called the circadian rhythm. And how do we know when to celebrate our birthday? Of course, by looking at the calendar. It has been in use for over 2,000 years. It suggests that thousands of years ago, people already discovered patterns of times and seasons. When you look at the sky, you will see different constellations. These patterns were used by poets, farmers, and astronomers to identify stars in their location. On the other hand, these 12 zodiac constellations were the signs of the zodiac and are famous today for their use in astrology. Patterns, as you can see on the examples I mentioned a while ago, are regular, repeated, or recurring forms or designs. Every day, we see patterns and it helps us understand, manipulate, and appreciate the world around us. It is also interesting to know that these patterns of nature are being used by humans in designing magnificent structures. For example, the famous Kuala Lumpur Tower of Malaysia is an example of symmetrical structure. Symmetry indicates that you can draw an imaginary line across an object and the resulting part or mirror image of each other. For example, this butterfly demonstrates symmetry because the left part of it is a mirror image of the right part. Another example is the Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man. It shows the proportion and symmetry of the human body. Aside from the two-fold symmetries, we also have three-fold symmetry. For example, spider word. Five-fold symmetry, for example, starfish. And can we consider a snowflake as an example of six-fold symmetry? Of course, yes, because it contains six folds of symmetrical figures. But did you know that a snowflake is a famous example of fractals? Okay, so fractals are objects in which the same pattern occur again and again at different scale and sizes. Another examples of fractals are the Sierpinski Triangle, the Ferns, Lightning Bolt, Human Lung Vessels, Cauliflower. Another patterns in nature that you will see are tessellations. Tessellation is a pattern of shapes that fit together with no gaps. For example, a honeycomb. A honeycomb is an example of tessellation. 
the hexagonal prismatic wax cells built by honeybees in their nest to contain their larvae and stores honey and pollen are repeated patterns. Tessellations are also seen in sunflower, pineapple, turtle's back, and many more. A spiral is another pattern that you will see in nature. A spiral are shapes that wind in a gradually or tightening curve. Example of this are snail's shell, bighorn sheep, and human ear. These are some patterns in nature that some of you are unaware. Now, let's have some patterns that you are familiar of. Have you ever tried solving a Rubik's Cube? It may seem impossible to solve it at first, but these are various patterns that can be used to match all the colors. These rotational patterns that are available in the internet will help you solve this Rubik's Cube. Future is something that we cannot predict. But how can the weather forecaster tell the possible weather condition of the coming weeks? That's because of the weather patterns. They were derived from the previous data that we had. And who doesn't love music? Many consider music as a form of art, but technically, it is a collection of coordinated sounds or patterns of sounds. Did you know that when you type a word on your keyboard, the CPU reads it differently? The language of a computer is represented by 0 and 1, called the binary digits. The computer uses thousands of binary patterns to process any input. A barcode is a readable optical label that contains the information about the item. This is what the cashiers in the grocery use in a transaction. There are also many unique patterns in our body, like the DNA and fingerprints. No two people have exactly the same fingerprint. So with all of these things in mind, where is mathematics? From a right viewpoint, mathematics is in people and communities, our daily routine, nature, and of course, in the world. So what is mathematics for? Mathematics helps us understand, manipulate, and appreciate the nature and the world. So, why not see math from a different viewpoint? And maybe it is the hidden secret to understanding the world. And let us discover it together. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more video updates.